Welcome to class, everybody. Thank you for being here. Today's video, you're not going to watch, but we are behind the scenes at a premiere. And this is the title. Thank you for 89,999 haters for allowing me to tell the animals stories. Now, actually, I did that video yesterday evening. I recorded it. And right now we actually have 90.3 thousand subscribers. So thank you very much for that. And we are behind the scenes here and I am going to be trying to address as many of your comments as I can. Now I started off by looking at this and one of the first things I saw is, is it true that she's pregnant? So why the fuck are people spreading this rumor? Well, because somebody decided to put it on the front cover of one of their videos and people don't bother to watch the video. People just only read the cover and then that's it. They make their assumptions from that. So the lesson really is whatever is on the front cover of any kind of video, always take that with a grain of salt. That means think twice about it. That means most likely you can't believe it if it's something crazy. They just want to get views. Always ask yourself, why would somebody lie? What is their motivation? And if somebody is lying to you deliberately like that, you might want to consider to unsubscribe from them. Unless they're doing it for a really good reason, which is to attract your attention to them because they're doing something good in the world. But if they're just spreading lies and gossiping and being vegan phobic, I would unsubscribe from those people. So somebody wrote just here, who else likes to bully that vegan teacher? Well, thank you so much. That is such a great thing to do. You know, you wake up in the morning and your, your first thought is, oh, let's be mean to somebody. Let's not just stab the animals on our plate. Let's not just encourage, you know, animal abuse throughout the day as we go shopping, just shove whatever you want in your shopping cart. But also let's bully the people who are trying to save the animals. That seemed like a good idea to that person. And somebody else says here, you don't deserve 90,000 subscribers. And yet here you are, Ruby Rose. Why are you here, Ruby? Why? If you don't want to be vegan, if you want to keep paying for animals to be hurt, you want to keep paying for the baby cows to have their throats slit, you want to keep paying for the baby boy chicks to be ground up on day one in giant blenders, you want to keep stealing baby cows from their mothers and raping the mothers. If that's what you want, well, I can't stop you. That's who you decided to be in this life. So if you don't think that I deserve 90,000 subscribers because I'm trying to save these innocent animals, my question to you once again is, why the fuck are you here? And here's the answer. Because you know I deserve 90,000 subscribers. Because you know what you're doing is wrong. Because you know you want to change. Ruby, you know it. That's why you're attracted to coming here because this channel is different and it is telling you the truth. I am telling you the truth. And part of you wants to hear it. I know there's a part of you who doesn't wanna hear it because it's hard to change your life and it takes someone really brave to stand up against society, but part of you really does wanna change. So if I were you, I would work on that part. There's a good part of you, Ruby, that wants to be vegan just like me. So thank you for being here. Okay, someone says, here's the slow mode. Yeah, the slow mode is on so I can actually read your comments. We can't eat anything. I don't know what that means. This crazy woman compares slavery and the Holocaust to animals. Well, you tell me what is the difference. Tell me what is the difference. Let's look at both of these sentient beings. There were the Jewish people in the Holocaust who didn't want to die and did nothing wrong. There are the animals in the Holocaust that continues now who didn't want to die and who did nothing wrong. Both of these groups have feelings. Both of these groups have families. Both of these groups are able to see the world and have a right to see the world, to hear the world and have a right to heal the world. They have feelings they have a right to walk this planet without being incarcerated for crimes they didn't commit. In the Holocaust, what did the Jews do wrong? Nothing. People just decided they didn't like them. 
just the same as people decide, well, you know, we're going to kill pigs in this society. We're just going to go ahead and kill chickens and pigs and cows and lambs for no fucking reason. So you tell me how the Holocaust is any different from what the animals are going through right now. Jewish people know the truth. People, Jewish people who are not hypocrites, they became vegan. And I want to thank those people for seeing that it is the same thing and that all of it is wrong. The Holocaust never ended for the animals. And we have a responsibility to free them just as we had a responsibility to free the Jews. And I call on every single Jewish person who had anybody in their family in that Holocaust who died to join me. It is your responsibility. If you don't like suffering and oppression and torture, then you have no right to do that to the animals. All right, what else do we have? That's the vegan nature, okay? I don't know what to say here. Um, yes, prob already dead. I don't know what you're talking about. Who is vegan teacher? Oh, hi. Uh, that's me. I'm the vegan teacher. I am that vegan teacher. And I'm here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I'm 56 years old at the time of this. And I am a school teacher and I worked as a nurse for 25 years before that. And I'm somebody who cares about the animals. I don't want them to die needlessly. I'm trying to encourage people to not pay for their rape torture, confinement, imprisonment, suffering, sadness, and murder. That's why I'm here. I have a little thing in front of me here. I'll show you what it looks like on my screen here. I have this sort of thing where I try to write these comments in case something comes up. So I'm gonna look for the letter M for me, and I'm gonna see if I can I try to keep these sort of in order. I see I have something here about the Holocaust. The Jewish people around the world became vegan. I'll put that over here. You see? Command V. There. Jewish people around the world became vegan after they saw how animals are treated and how they realized that the Holocaust never actually ended. Be logical. Be kind. Be vegan. Let me send that. But I was trying to show you the one that has to do with me. So H, we're going to M, okay? J, K, L, M, okay, here's me. For those of you who are new here, I am Miss Katie. Copy, let's put that over here now. For those of you who are new here, I am Miss Katie. I'm 56 years old. I have three adult kids and a little granddaughter. I worked as a nurse for 25 years and as a teacher in school for nine. I now teach online. All right, that's me. I stopped working as a nurse because I got tired of seeing people eating things that were harmful. They served food like meat, dairy, and eggs instead of vegan foods which promote health. That was one of the reasons that I quit. All right, let's let this go and see more of your comments. The vegan are coming. Okay, I don't know what you mean by that. The vegans are coming, I don't know. Alex the vegan says, we should all eat plant-based burgers. They're cruelty-free. Thank you, Alex the vegan, for being here and for being a great teaching assistant. I really do appreciate it. Okay, one says, the vegan teacher, you suck. Okay. Yeah, maybe I suck, so you don't have to be here. I'm just doing my best with the skills that I have. You know, I was born in this body with this brain and this heart. That's all I have in this world. I'm just doing my best to try to make the world a better place. It's 6 in the morning. Yeah, it is. It's very early. It's 6.20 here in Montreal. I don't see why a celebration, a celebration is needed for subscribers, animals being saved, and people turning vegan are a real reason to celebrate. Yeah, I agree, actually, with you. At, okay, I agree. I agree with you, actually. Yeah, all right, what else do we have here? Um, why are some people saying techno support? I don't know. Plant have feelings, 
too. They just can't feel it. Plants don't have a nervous system. They don't have a brain. Who tells you that plants have feelings? The meat, dairy, and egg industries because they try to make you eat more of their products. But the reality is, if you actually think the plants have feelings, then you are arguing for veganism. Because if you eat animals, you are already eating way more of the plants because they are filtered through the animals first in a highly inefficient way. Think about how much, how many plants do cows and chickens and uh, pigs eat. They eat them. And then you eat the, the animals. It's better for us to not have the animals on the planet, to gradually phase them out, to stop raping them into existence, to stop creating them in the first place, and then use that land to grow crops. All farmers should become farmers of plants, tomatoes, rice, potatoes, everything, carrots, all of these wonderful things, soybeans, lentils, chickpeas, wheat, all of these things, quinoa, we should all be encouraging our governments to sponsor them, to stop subsidizing the meat, dairy, and egg industries. Okay, now wake up because this makes no sense what you're saying. And also, if you really think the plants have feelings, let me ask you this. Why is it that when there's a fire in your neighborhood that the firefighters rush in and go straight to try to save the humans and the animals instead of trying to save the broccoli in the fridge. Why is that? Plants have feelings, according to you. Why is it that when you're riding your bicycle and you see that there is a cat in the middle of the road and you might accidentally hit the cat, that you swerve away and run over the grass instead? You know, you're killing all that grass. You're hurting the grass. Why didn't you just run into the cat? Because you know what you're saying is complete nonsense. All right, let's move on. All these vegan phobic comments. You know why I call them vegan phobic? Because people are being ridiculous and attacking the vegan animal rights activists instead of looking at our message, which is that of kindness. We want the world to stop being in pain. What's this? You spent at least three years becoming a nurse and then you quit just because of food? That's ridiculous. Well, I worked for 25 years as a nurse, Missy. And that, that's not just because of food. If you ever realize there are only 200 characters with which to write something here. You see, let's say I say, I write here, be vegan, right? Let's say I do that. I'm gonna put a, a little carrot or something here if I can. All right, wait. All right, let's say I put a piece of corn and a, a carrot there, okay? So you see the numbers at the bottom? Look here. See, it says 14 out of 20, right? You see, I can only go up to 200 characters to explain something. And in my explanation, I said that that was the reason that I decided to become a nurse, uh, to stop becoming a nurse because of what crazy things were going on. That's not just the only reason. There are many reasons. I didn't like the fact that we were treating patients, for example, people with diabetes, and they would, instead of following the instruction, which is to stop eating the crap that they were eating and to eat whole foods instead, that was the best thing, they didn't care about their own health. And they ended up having to get one toe after another amputated because they turned black from having diabetes. So I would worry so much about the patients, but they didn't give a fuck about themselves. So that's pretty disheartening. That's why I decided to become a teacher where I would be with younger people where I thought, well, at least maybe I can make a difference in their lives. But unfortunately, this, this society and the school boards are not ready yet for veganism. They are not ready yet to hear the messages because they are still being influenced by the meat to dairy and egg industries. Hello there, says, um, no, but if you knew they were defending you, how would you feel? Okay, I'm not sure the context of that, but Alex says, I will never be vegan in my life. Well, congratulations, Alex, because you're on your way. You just got your first click because everybody who wants to be vegan, who ends up being vegan has said the same thing. Everyone says, I could never be vegan. It's impossible. I never, I never could stop eating eggs. I can't stop eating cheese. I can't stop, I can't stop. Oh, this is terrible. And yet, here you are, right? So Alex, why do you think you are here 
in my comment section right now. Because you are curious. And that's good, Alex. Because you're, you're telling me what you really feel, which is, which is true. We all felt that way. When I first heard about vegans, I thought the same thing. I could never be vegan. How the fuck can anyone be vegan? I used to think. It doesn't make any sense. And yet here I am, five years later, fully vegan. And I'm also a vegan animal rights activist. And I'm also probably one of the most um, well-known animal rights activists in the world. Because I was on TikTok and had 1.7 million followers there. And I had another 100,000 in another one of my accounts. I had many accounts there. And many, many people know me. And they still talk about me on TikTok right now. Now, I'm not saying that to show off or whatever. I'm just saying that people know me. And I worked hard to become somebody who they would listen to. And they are listening. Of course, there's many, many haters. There's many vegan phobic people like you, but you'll change. Eventually people change when they start to watch the important documentaries, which reminds me, I'm gonna remind you again to go to don'twatch.org. Everybody should be going there. Let me see if I can get the link here. I'm gonna write don'twatch.org on my browser and I'm gonna pick up the, the link here. Let me show it to you first. So when you go, it looks like this. And it's just a six minute, minute documentary. And it talks about the animals and what goes on there. Animal agriculture is a multi-billion dollar industry controlled by some of the world's most powerful people. And is an industry rooted in lies, secrecy, and animal abuse. Our schools, governments, doctors, and media have hidden the truth for long enough. Here is what they don't want you to see. In the dairy industry, cows need to be pregnant in order to produce milk. In order to collect the bull sperm to impregnate the female cow, the farmer masturbates the cow's penis. Once the sperm has been collected, the female cow is restrained whilst the farmer inserts their arm into the cow's anus to hold the cervix in place. Then a metal rod is used to insert the sperm into the cow's vagina. When the mother gives birth, her baby is taken from her so that the milk intended for her calf can be sold to humans. If her baby is male, he is considered a waste product in the dairy industry and is usually killed within a week. If the cow's baby is female, she will also become a dairy cow and will go through the same process as her mother year after year. When dairy cows can no longer produce milk, they are sent to the slaughterhouse to be killed. Only female chickens lay eggs, which means that when the male and female chicks hatch, the male chicks are left on the conveyor belt and are killed immediately by a macerator. I think you get the point. Go to don'twatch.org and watch it for yourself. It's pretty disgusting and disturbing. It's very sad. Here's the link. I'll leave it for everyone. All right, let's go back to your comments. So somebody says, I'm a hater because animals equals healthy, but to your, whoops, where did it go? But to your surprise, yes, I actually eat plants too. I'm not surprised you plant, eat plants. Of course you eat plants. Everyone eats plants. And you don't need animal products to be healthy. That's a fact. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated that you do not need any animal products. So why would you eat them? Why would you murder somebody on purpose just for your taste buds? Do you also murder animals because you like to see them suffer? Do you also hurt animals or murder them because you like to hear their screams? Or is it just the taste that matters to you? And if it is just the taste, then grow up, grow a heart and change. Vegan teacher, I have a question. Why are you trying so hard to make people be vegan? Like it doesn't work. What I'm trying to say is why don't you help animals with, I don't know, working in the zoo? <laughs> well, because it does work. It absolutely works. Many, many people have become vegan because of me. Thousands, and by the end of my life, millions will become vegan because of me. Because I'm relentless. Because I'm trying to undo the damage that I did. Not everybody's gonna become vegan immediately. It takes a hundred clicks until you become vegan. 
You have to understand the message in your heart and in your head. You understand? Because my heart hurts every day thinking about the billions of animals who are suffering right now on factory farms. They can't see the sky. They'll never see the sun or their freedom. So we must help them. And I hope that rain clouds you will join me. Please watch the documentary that I'm always talking about be called don'twatch.org. Watch. I know it's a crazy title. I don't like the name. Oops. Don't watch.org. Go there now for six minutes. Okay, I want everybody to go there right now for six minutes. Maybe I'll just put a little piece of, uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a carrot there just to get people's attention. So I go here and copy this. And let's see if I can get a few of you to go there. Oh, you see it went past, now oh, let me show you, 209. So I have to, I have to remove some of these. Watch, don't watch that one. Okay, there we go. Thank you everybody for being here and for learning. I'm gonna try and put that up again in case some people miss it because sometimes you blink and the comments go by. But, oh, I did the same mistake as last time. I went over and go back. Okay, there. Eat beets, not meat, says <laughs> Vegan Tam Australia. Oh, I wonder why this person changed their name. Vegan Tam. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, eat beets, not meats. Vegan Robert says, go vegan, go vegan, go vegan, yay. Okay. Happy Vegan Declaration, Declaration Day to those who just became vegan. Yes. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Whether you've been vegan for a lifetime or just a minute, welcome to the club. We're so glad you're in it. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Everywhere around the world, animals are lining up to thank you for their, your compassion and for allowing your heart to open up. Ooh, my voice wasn't ready for that this morning. Okay, I'm going to drink some water. Oh, now I spilled some on my computer, my laptop here. All right, let's see what else. Dominion is also a nice documentary about the animals. Well, it's a very important documentary. Vegan dogs are healthy, vegan dogs are happy, vegan dogs can thrive. That's right, Ethan Cat. Let's add you a mod as a moderator and see if Ethan will be a moderator or not. We take chances like that. <laughs> but that's a song I composed, yeah. Because vegan dogs are happy and they are healthy and they can thrive, absolutely. I had a vegan hot dog and they were so good that I ate three. Good job, all right. Even if you won't, you can be vegan fantastic. So what Alex is meaning there is that a person who's vegan fantastic, this is a word that I invented. Somebody who's vegan fantastic is somebody who tries very hard, <coughs> excuse me, to be kind to animal activists. It's the opposite of vegan phobic. See, somebody who's vegan phobic is mean on purpose. They just try to attack the messengers. Somebody who is vegan fantastic is somebody who is always saying, hey, let's listen to them. Let's go to a vegan restaurant because we have somebody here who is vegan and everyone can eat vegan foods. Let's be kind, let's be inclusive. That's being vegan fantastic. By the way, in case you never thought of this before, never use glue traps for mice. It's a slow, painful, and terrifying death. It's torture. Buy humane traps instead and release the mice in warm weather. Be kind. Be vegan. Always. Boink. Is a lion vegan? If a lion isn't vegan, why do we need to be vegan? Because lions don't have moral agency. They cannot choose for themselves, but we can. Every day we go into the grocery store, we can choose. Put veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate, so open up your heart. Be vegan. 
Don't worry about the lions. Worry about yourself. Don't hurt animals. Don't be like the lions, you know? They sniff each other's butt as soon as they meet each other. You don't have to do that. Leave the animals alone out in nature. Don't interfere. We don't all have to be vegan, says Faze. That's correct. You don't have to be. But if you don't want to be a dickheaded asshole, then you should be. If you don't want to be a fucking prick, then be vegan. <laughs> because you're just hurting animals. So Faze, sorry to have to use this kind of language with you. But to get it into your head, of course, your sentence makes sense. Technically, we don't all have to be. You can be a jerk. Yeah. Or you can choose to be nice. Face, you can choose to imagine that you are the victim. Put in a concentration camp for your whole life. That's what they do to the pigs and the chickens. Their whole lives, they can't see the sky. It's dark. They're cramped together. They're bored. They want to they wanna just scream because they're so tightly shoved together. How would you like that, um, Faze? How would you like that? How do you think you would feel your entire life not having freedom and then being ripped away from any family that you know, any friends that you managed to have there after six months, put on a truck, not being allowed to eat or drink for two days so that when it, by the time you get on the truck, you're not gonna throw up. They don't want you to throw up on the truck. They don't want you to pee or poo on the truck. So they don't feed these animals. And then after that, you're put into a gas chamber. How would you like that phase? I wouldn't like it. So yeah, you don't have to be vegan, but you do if you wanna be able to call yourself a good person. You can't be a good person and pay for so much torture and sadness. Bella's actually dying. Well, you know what? We're all dying, Alex, even you. From the moment that you're born, you're on your way to dying. We're all dying, including me. Bella is going to be seven years old in October. At least we think so, because we adopted her. We're not sure of her exact age. And right now, she is playing. I can see her out of my window. She's in the backyard running around with her friend, Max. She has her tail up and she's running and chasing him and they're wrestling and they're doing fine. So I wouldn't worry about Bella. But you know why you're saying that? Because you're vegan phobic. Because instead of looking at your own plate, you'll try to find criticism in what I'm doing or any other animal rights activist. So Alex, you know who's dying right now? The chickens, pigs, and cows that you are paying right now to confine. You are paying people right now to slit their throats. Those are the animals who are dying. So rather than worry about Bella, a dog that I adopted who was doing just fine, who was eating healthy vegan foods, recommended by a vet. How about you look in the mirror, Alex? Stop being vegan phobic. Be vegan fantastic and get your shit together and be nice. Be a good guy. Yay, go vegan, says Vegan Robert. Yes. What else do we have? Okay, Ethan Katz says, Alex, she's not dying. <laughs> All right. Um, being vegan is good for us. Yep. All right, what else do we have? Burn the vegans. Okay, there you go. Here's an, another example of a vegan phobic comment. So you want to burn the people that are helping the animals. So let me ask you this. When there were black people who were suffering, who were prisoners, slaves, did you want to burn the people that were saving them? When the LGBTQ community is being attacked and we, who are kind people, defend them and we say, hey, don't be mean to them. Yes, gay people have a right to marry. Yes. They should have a right to adopt kids like anyone else, as long as they're sane. When we are defending the LGBTQ community, do you also say, burn them? Burn the people who are defending them. Are you always this cruel? This unkind? Stop being vegan phobic. Be vegan fantastic and help us save the animals who never did a single thing wrong to you. 
I don't know what this is about. This has nothing whatsoever to do with our class here. We're talking about saving the animals. Mm, I will never be vegan. Okay, Absol, congratulations. You are one step closer to being vegan. Everyone who states that, that is step one to say, I will never be vegan. Look, you just said the word vegan and you're thinking about it. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. You gotta start by saying you're never gonna be vegan. And then, you know, gradually you get your 100 clicks. It takes 100 clicks until you're vegan, but you're on your way. It takes 100 clicks until you're vegan. It'll be a beautiful day. When you become vegan, it'll be a beautiful day. Sub to Vegan Teacher. Well, yeah, thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. Thank you so much to everybody who is. Oh, I'm an official vegan now. Yay. All right, ultra. Let's do an ultra. Let's write to ultra. Congratulations. All right, happy vegan declaration day. Joop. All right. Congratulations. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Good job declaring you're going to be vegan. Do you think I have time? Do I think I have space for one more, guys? There's 151 characters. I'm going to try. Oh, one over. Delete. Boop. All right. So congratulations to everybody who is vegan and celebrating their Vegan Declaration Day. Thank you so much for being kind to the animals. It is a life choice to be vegan. It is definitely a choice that is the kindest. It's also best for the environment, by the way. When you become vegan, you help to reduce your eco footprint. Do not listen to the lies of the meat, dairy, and egg industries. Think about it. All they want to do is sell you stuff. We are here to sell you just ideas. We are here to help you open your heart. This person says, Miss Katie, is being vegan worth it? Of course it's being, it's worth it. You're going to help everyone. The animals, the planet, and yourself. And you will not be a hypocrite anymore. You will live your life with integrity. You will live in line with your own values. Thank you to whoever this is, Kovu, for saying vegan donut. Vegan donuts are great and everyone wants one. So when you call me a vegan donut, it's a compliment because they're sweet delicious and everyone wants one all right this is dumb i have better things to do than watch bye vegan teach okay bye thank you for being here and at least getting some clicks and understanding why we're here go to don'twatch.org thanks vegan robert for repeating that important message i eat what i eat okay and i eat what i eat <laughs> i'm not sure what you're saying that for okay what else have we got here? The premiere will begin shortly, it says. All right, so right now we have 132 people waiting. It is Monday morning. Everyone's getting ready here in Montreal to go to school. So um, of course there's gonna be less people here. Everyone's rushing around and brushing in their teeth, hopefully eating a healthy vegan breakfast with a nice vegan smoothie. And the premiere is gonna begin soon. It's August 30th, 2021. All right. Let's put this here and I'm going to start to get ready to spam my vegan food. So I'm going to put a carrot and I'm going to put a watermelon and an apple and broccoli and corn. There we go. Music starts. Yay! So, the video is starting. Here we go. Put all these delicious vegan foods. Thank you everyone for being here. Somebody says you don't to be vegan is a choice. You don't have to if you don't want to. 
Stop forcing veganism. We're not forcing you to be here, Lincoln. You literally pressed buttons on your own free will to be here. Nobody told you to come to this channel. You can go anywhere else if you don't want to learn, if you want to keep your heart closed. Thank you all 156 people for being here, for being open-minded and for being kind. Thank you so much, everybody, for trying your best to not hurt animals. Thank you for not being speciesist. A speciesist is somebody who is cruel to animals depending on what they look like. All animals deserve our love and attention and they deserve our help. Here we go. Thank you everybody. Happy Vegan Declaration Day again to anyone who's just joining us here. I'm that vegan teacher. I'm here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. turn this down here and pay attention to your comments again and so what do we have here Alex says you can choose what you eat but not who you eat thank you for that comment absolutely true choose kindness always be kind always re re remember to drink water says Ger Hardson yes drink water that's the that's the drink of choice you're absolutely right Go vegan, says Roop. Yeah. In Asian, I also eat cats and dogs. Well, it's better not to eat any animals. They did nothing wrong. They don't deserve to be hurt. All right, so somebody's giving us a cucumber and a broccoli here. Thank you, Kovu. So, wow, yummy. I'm taking nuggets for school lunch, non-vegan nuggets. Okay, why would you be vegan phobic and come here and say that when you know that that hurts us? You know there's many vegans here and what you're basically saying is you're going to be paying for the torture of innocent chickens who never did a single thing wrong to you. 
Why would you say that with such enthusiasm? Well, because you're suffering from cognitive dissonance. You have a psychological problem. Your problem is that you are somebody who actually thinks they're a good person, but who is still stuck in the old ways. And you can change. You can change. One day in this entire sentence, you're going to look back and your whole sentence will be changed, Faiza. It will say, yummy, I'm taking vegan nuggets for school lunch. That's what you'll be saying to us because they don't taste that different. Oh, and there's where I got my 90,000 followers at that time. This little moment. Now, let's look over here just as a reminder, okay? Animals are friends, not food, so don't hurt them. These are some of my cards, by the way, for uh, different videos that I'm planning to do. And uh, one of these days, I'm gonna show you all of the inside of my house, because uh, I know you guys are always asking. Anyway. Thank you again so much for being here. And thank so, you thank you to everybody who is here right now with me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who has been spamming these great vegan foods. And thank you even to the haters. At least you are here and you are learning. I do appreciate that too. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so and hit the notification bell and make sure to help us take these animals out of hell. Thanks. Coming up on the screen, you're gonna see a bunch of videos. Be curious, look around and subscribe. After you subscribe and press the notification bell, look at the videos, press them and look around. All kinds of videos on the screen there, you're gonna see, you can choose one and just go there. And look around and give this video a thumbs up if it was in any way helpful. Love you guys. Bye. Do 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 do.